Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back for another puzzle duel. Okay, Mike is gonna drop the mic there because we have chess to do and I am not a singer. I'm a chess player. We are going to run it back, as the kids say, with another puzzle race. Now, if you watch my video posted very recently, I did a race to see what rating I could get to in 30 minutes. And if you have a good memory, and I know you do, I got a little bit above 1600 and I promised that I would do it again, starting from 1600, so here we go. But we're gonna change the rules this time. Oh yeah, instead of seeing how many puzzles I can do in 30 minutes, I'm instead going to see how long it will take me to get from 1600 to the magical rating of 2000. That is what I'm going for, 1600 to 2000. And before I get moving and grooving, I want you to get your guess in your brain. Will it take five minutes, 10 minutes? 30 minutes, two days? I don't know if YouTube will let me post a hmm. two day video, but anyway, get your number ready. We're gonna see if I can meet, exceed, or if I can be a little bit slower than your expectations, okay? Let's put the timer on the screen, but the timer is counting up this time in three, two, one, go. I've set my own little timer. Okay, it's black to move and hmm. I'm already stumped. I was so busy giving you the intro that I didn't have the ends ready. I think we actually trade. Always look oh, at checks and captures. Oh. That forces the king to take. And now rook check wins the bishop. And you can't block with your rook because if you do, did you see my bishop lined up at that square? If you put your rook in the way, I hope you did. Now I capture a free bishop. I got my five points and there we go. Wow, there you go. I'm up a little bit over 1600. Okay, that took about 25 seconds. So I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster. Okay, this is gonna be a fork. I forked the queen and the bishop. Oof. Now, the computer took, I'm gonna take the queen. If the computer had moved the queen, I would have taken the bishop for free. I would have had two attackers against one. And this is tricky. If I capture the knight, then the computer will play queen takes pawn, and there will be a very deadly battery on the second rank, and the queen will probably take the bishop next and completely crush me on the second rank. So, I'm not gonna do that. You know what I think I should do? I think I should play a defensive move before taking the knight. If I simply play rook here, I stop your double team on F2. What? You must move your queen. And there's nowhere you can move your queen to safeguard your knight. So there we go. That's the right answer. The queen moves, but the rook protects the weak spot. And now I can capture the knight. So you have to do a little bit of patience there. A little bit of delayed gratification. If you don't eat one marshmallow now, you get two later. I think that was some sort of scientific test from back in the day. Okay, my rook is in danger. I was thinking I would sack the rook and then fork your king and your rook. But when your king takes, check it out. Your king and your rook will be really far apart. I think I'll just capture you here. I don't think you have to fork anything. So this is called Desperado. We sometimes call it Kamikaze. If I take your rook on the first move, you will simply take my rook. It'll be even Steven. So what I want to do is I want to get anything I can for my rook, which will be considered like a bonus. So my rook takes your knight. And now when I take, I end up with essentially a bonus knight. That was a desperado rook. Okay, I've already gained 40 points in less than two minutes. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, but I'm not feeling pretty good about this puzzle. Oh, I just trapped your bishop. Pawn f5, bishop trap. Ha ha ha. And I take with check. I can save my rook on the next turn. That was a quick 11 points. Thank you very much, Mr. Computer, for the 11 points. That's a fork. That's fork town population fun master. I don't see anything better. Wait a second. My knight is actually in danger. This must be the right move there. Yeah, it's gotta be the right move. Queen moves, okay, now I have two knights in danger. Ah, but if I take this rook and you take my other knight, my knight can bail out by trading for your bishop. So I think that's the way to go. And now I simply, oh, actually, wait a second, wait a second. This is actually not so clear. If I take this, you obviously can't take my knight because your queen's hanging. Your queen will be in danger and your rook will be discovered attacked. What? Um, I mean, you could take my rook, but then I would take your rook and your queen would still be in danger. You know what? I honestly think both moves are equally good. I think I could play knight takes bishop. And when you take my knight, take your pawn on the next turn. Or I think I could take your pawn first. Hmm. And it's essentially the same thing. This is uh, a little weird. Hmm. Uh, computer, you are making me really second guess myself. I do not know which one to do. Kids, yell into your screen. Yell louder. I can't hear you. I need help. Which one would you play? Um, um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this. Oh, computer didn't like it. I don't, actually, I, I legitimately don't know why the computer didn't like it. Okay, I lost points. You don't see that happen every day. But uh, I'm going to go back and review that one later. Okay, this looks like... Is that going to be a checkmate? Okay, the black pawn's hmm. moving up the board. If I check you, 
you have to go there, and then that's not made because you can go here, but this is actually made. What a weird king in the middle of the board checkmate. Your pawn actually get in your king's way. Take a good look at that one, just make sure I'm right. Computer agrees with me, so computer, you're not totally sick today. You did get, uh, did get that one right. Okay, wait a minute. Um, if I take, then your queen has to take, and then you hang your rook because your queen is over the rook. So that's gotta be the right answer. Oh! Oh no! That's what we call a mouse slip. My rook was handing for the bishop. Kids, you saw it. You saw me going for the bishop. Okay, now I've gotten two wrong. That was just a silly little mistake. Okay, I think I'm taking this. And when you take, then I'm removing the defender of your pawn by trading queens. I'm gonna be careful this time. I get my queen all the way there. Now bishop takes forks pretty much everything in your army. Okay. So I'm back on the comeback warpath train, whatever you want to call it. Oh my goodness. That would be checkmate, except that your queen can capture. So I think I give away my rook. What? Oh wait, but it doesn't force your queen to capture. Hmm. So do I do it in reverse order? Oh, if your king moves to b3, I have knight d4 forking your king and your queen. This is pretty chess, kids. I think the computer is gonna play king b3, but I want you to look at your screen. I can't really, actually, I can draw arrows. If I play rook there and your queen takes, your queen no longer guards c5. That is the prettiest double knight mate in the history oh of chess. Okay, so I'm gonna play rook here. Will the computer take? Oh, the computer did take. We get to see it. That is a fork, but more importantly, it's mate. By the way, it's actually quite important that it's mate. Let me tell you why, chess kids. Thank you for not asking, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. When you have two knights versus a king, most of the time, it's actually a draw. Although you can set up a checkmate as I've just done here on the chessboard, um, you can't force a mate except in special positions like this one. So remember that, chess kids. Even if you had two knights and there are no pawns and nothing else on the board, 98% of the time, it is going to be a draw because you cannot force the king into a checkmate. Uh, of course, that was one of the 2% because the king was already in such a bad spot. We checkmated him right away. Okay, I think this is pretty simple. Uh, I can't take your bishop right away because you'll take my rook over here on b2. So I think I just trade rooks and then I take your bishop. It's a little bit like Desperado, you know, just get rid of the rook problem first and then take the free piece. Okay, somehow my bishop lined up with your rook is important. But my rook is hanging on your one. So if I trade rooks, oh baby. Somehow I'm gonna like move this knight here and your rook is gonna be trapped. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy. And now if I play knight here, the first thing I notice is that you take, or if you go back, either one, knight d2 forks your king and your rook. Your only move would be rook here, but then I think my pawn just goes downtown. So this, I mean, is there a better knight move? If I go there, you'll take my pawn. So this move essentially guards my pawn, because if you take my pawn, I play knight d2 and fork your king and your rook. Uh, so yeah, this wins, this wins. Okay, the rook did take. And now we get here, and we get here. We have an extra knight. We have an extra pawn. Fun Master Mike knows how to win that. Uh, the bishop's lined up with the king. I hope you guys realize that as fast as I did. Um, so I think, oh, it's a double discovery. Wow, I don't think we've ever talked about this in the history of my 11 years at Chess Kid. If I push, not only do I open up the path for the bishop to aim at the king, I also open up the path for the rook to capture the bishop. So moving the pawn is a double discovery, a double disco. I know your parents are gonna tell you that disco's dead, but it's not. That's a weird reference. You're gonna have to ask your parents about that one. Pawn to d6, rook takes. There we go. Okay, disco was a type of music that no one listens to anymore. And uh, yeah, so there you go. There's your answer. All right, rook to c4. My bishop's in danger, but your pawn is pinned. So if my knight takes, you actually can't take because you'll be pinned. But if you take my bishop, I cannot fork you because your knight would take me. Okay, you, there's too many arrows. I've gone full Hikaru Nakamura. Takes, takes, takes. I think hmm. it's actually a different idea. If I simply play bishop takes check, I discover attack your rook. So if at first you don't succeed, oh. look for something else. Okay, I don't even know why hmm. the computer didn't play bishop takes bishop, but I will take this rook very happily. Okay, computer's gonna make me take more stuff, which I can do. And I'm up to 1700 or so, and we're getting there. Okay, it's taken me eight minutes. So at this pace, it's gonna be over 30 minutes. That's not good. Okay, rook takes bishop gets rid of the defender of the promotion. I'm gonna see if I can knock out a few pretty quickly here so that we can just, you know, get a better time. I think I'll just take, I'm not getting mated. And my king moves. Okay, that's pretty good. 
All right, now his king moves. Um, oh wait, that's just mate in one. Yeah, I see, I told you I was gonna go, oh, it's not mate. Huh. Oops, that was embarrassing. Did we catch that on camera? I think we did because yeah, I'm still talking and we're still recording. Um, luckily it was actually the right first move. Now that's not mate, but I do win your rook. Yeah. I don't see a mate and a take, okay? And we're slightly embarrassed, but we did get the answer right even though we didn't get it right knowingly. So, okay, I don't know. I'd rather win a chess game not knowingly than lose it knowingly. I don't really know what that means. Okay, rook takes, um, yeah, it's just a free rook. Oh, and then I can fork you too. There we go, okay. We are starting to improve our time here. All right, so we're both going to promote if I push or if I take. You're gonna promote. Hmm. Um, you're actually gonna promote first. Oh, if you promote to queen first, which you will, you're gonna checkmate me on b4. So this is really cool. I need to take and not push because when you push and then I push and you get a queen first, which is usually really bad, I get a queen second, but my queen magically guards the square that you wanted to checkmate me on. It's actually a defensive puzzle. Wow. You don't see defensive puzzles every day on Chess Kid, but my queen guards the checkmate. Really critical that you calculate your end games, hmm. kids, okay? Don't think that because there's fewer pieces on the board, there's less work to do. In fact, you should become more of a calculator. All right, uh, I think it's Desperado again. If I take your rook, you take my rook. So I'm just gonna grab a bishop first. I'm gonna take your rook second, and I have a bonus bishop. Yeah. Okay, uh, queen takes pawn must be the right first move. I'm not even gonna delay on that one. Now, I can't check me with just a queen. I need my rook in the yeah. game. My rook wants to get to g1, so my king tucks himself to bed, and then my queen comes over. What? That's actually a rook. My rook moves over, and uh, yeah, it's not quite me, because you could block with your queen, but the computer gave up anyway. Okay, uh, my knight can just give check, and I win your queen. Yeah, my rook was gonna take your queen if you did not move it. Okay, I lost two knights, but I got a queen. That is a fair trade. I will do that trade every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Um, okay, I think it must be hmm. check. I don't see a way to go after your rook. I don't see any other reasonable checks. I don't see any forks, discovered attacks, pins, skewers, which and zugs, any of my tactics, but I don't know why this is the right answer. I don't like not knowing why. If I play queen check, if you block with your pawn, my rook might enter the attack, but you're gonna block with your queen. Hello. And then, oh, you know what? It might be a defensive puzzle. If you block with your queen, I trade queens, I just have an extra knight. And importantly, you're not gonna do things like this check or this check and mate me. So I think it's gotta be this check. Yeah, okay, now he didn't trade queens, but now we can trade queens. And I think that's the right answer. Yeah, ooh, another defensive puzzle. And somehow my rating has shot up to 1800. I am loving the speed. Ooh, look at this move, the rook is pinned. The rook is pinned, my friends. The rook was not able to take. I take here, you take there, I take here. I get extra material, I get rating points. Everybody wins. Okay, pawn up and I think your bishop is pinned. We say put pressure on the pinned piece and pun master Mike has pun that. Uh, I'll take that and I'll take that. And oh, we are more than halfway to our goal. Now I could pin your knight hmm. to your queen, but then you could take check to get out of the pin. So I'm actually gonna take your knight first, and now I've lined up your queen and your rook on the dark squares. Do I have a dark squared bishop? Yes, I do. We call that minimally observant. Bishop to d4, and no matter where you put your queen, I will take your rook. And by the way, in chess, you probably shouldn't put all your pawns on one color because you weaken the other color. Okay, lesson learned, Mr. Computer. All right, uh, queen check forks your entire army, so it must be the right move. Um, I do have bishop f2 hmm. check, by the way, which looks intriguing, but your king will just kind of hide out. Um, so yeah, queen check, I'm threatening everything, you pushed. That actually magically defends your knight, but there's no magic on your bishop. Okay, I'm up to 1860, 12 minutes in. I like my pace. Uh, where's the mate? I think, do we check with the knight or the queen? It's actually not so clear. Hmm. Um, hmm, wow, okay, I really don't know. I think we check with the queen. Hello. Yeah, queen blocks, now we check with the knight. And now we distract your king from your queen with this oh, check. Boy. Now we pick off the queen. It's actually mate as well. What a wonderful move. You win the queen whilst giving checkmate. Whilst, is that still a word? Is that well, like a word that people still use? It seems like a word that Charles Dickens would use, whilst. Okay, if you don't know who Charles Dickens is, there's gonna be a high school English teacher that will fix that for you <laughs> in a couple of years. Okay, so queen check forces your queen away. Okay, if you had taken, I would have taken back with check and then won your rook. Instead, you moved your king, but now you fall victim to one of life's two classic blunders, a back rank weakness. 
Uh, you blocked with your pain. By the way, if you'd blocked with your rook, I would have taken, and my queen would have x-ray defended your rook. Wow. We are pulling out all of the advanced ideas for these high-rated puzzles, okay? All right. By the way, if you feel a little challenged by this video, good. Good. I know I'm going fast. I know these puzzles are harder, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's progression, kids. That's called progression. My knight's going to take... And then I have a double attack on your bishop, and your king is going to feel very bad once I take your bishop. Oh, I'm up to 1900. Okay, by my clock, I'm just about at 14 minutes. Hopefully the clock on the screen is about the same. And I have a check, but your king moves there. Ah, oh, I think I play this check. And no matter where your king moves, there's a four. If your king moves here, here, or here, those are your three legal king moves, I have this fork against two of those moves, and I've got this fork against the other one, so which one are you gonna oh. pick? You're gonna pick that one. I'm gonna fork you here. And knights are tricky. That's their job. Oh. They gained 14 points because I went a little bit faster. By the way, small side note, when you do puzzles a little bit faster, you do get more points, but there's also a greater chance of you getting them wrong. By the way, kids, this knight is not defended. Loose pieces drop off. I'm gonna play pawn takes pawn, and that gives my queen access to this square. And then the queen takes. The queen went right, and then she juked left. A little crossover move, Allen Iverson style. And we sit in here talking about practice. We talk about puzzles. All right. Um, I think we just take. We open up the H file. And yeah, whenever the king moves, we just play our queen into the H file. There's going to be a mate. Okay, 55 magical points left. Ooh, this is a nice one. This is called the king walk. I'm going to draw the king out by taking... Then when he comes out here, kitty kitty, he took the cheese and he fell into the mouse trap. It is checkmate on the board. Okay, 40 oh. points left. Loving that. Now your rook, uh, sorry, my rook, your queen and your king are on the same file. You don't have to ask me twice. I will pin that queen every single time. Now the computer's making me make more moves. Oh, I'm actually in discover check. Ooh, I guess I have to pick the right king though. If I play king there, your rook can dive in with check, which is really dangerous. So I think I've actually got to tuck him over here. I like that the computer made me play one more defensive move, and I'm 26 points away from my biggest chess accomplishment ever, I think. Um, okay, this one I have fallen victim to before in live chess games. Uh, so the right answer is to take. And when your queen takes, then I play rook here. Yeah. And when you move your queen, even if you take my queen, I will take your rook check first. Oh. We call this an in-between move, a decision zug. And then I take the queen. And if you look at the chessboard, I have next to rook 12 more points. This could be it. This could be the puzzle that ends the YouTube video, breaks the algorithms, and gets us 1 million views on this video. Probably not, but a fun master can dream. Uh, well now, why am I not just taking? I guess I could throw in the check, hmm. which is better because your king is in a bad spot. That's got to be it. But if I get it wrong, then I'm going to feel very sad for not getting to 2000 when I had predicted this was the puzzle. Here we go. Okay, that was right. Now, this is a very common pattern. When you give check on this diagonal and your opponent blocks, you can almost always take with the knight because if the pawn takes back, you can then take the rook. And by the way, I'm still going to win that bishop later on. So I'm going to hold my breath and hope this is right. It is. And the computer didn't even take, but now I can just take your rook with discovered check. But wait a minute. I'm not even sure that's right because if my knight checks here, and your king moves, I might be very close to mating you. Oh, okay, this is this is quite a diabolical puzzle trying to get to 2000. If I play here, you can't play there because queen f7's mate. You can play there, then I can give a check, and your king moves here. Hmm. But I don't see the mate. I have this check, but then your king takes and he's getting out. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that taking the free rook is right. <laughs> Whoa, it was right, but I took so long, I only got five points. I gotta do one more puzzle. And, oh, please give me an easy one. I'm almost there. Um, The computer did not give me an easy one. Newsflash. Oh, I can actually take, because when your pawn takes, oh. I give discover check, winning my queen back, and there we go. 2011, I did it just short of 18 minutes. I'm getting a little faster, even though these puzzles are a little harder. That was a fun one. I'm a little tired. I'm gonna be honest with you. I need a coffee and a nap, and I'm not sure what order I need them in. But that was fun. I guess hmm. for my next puzzle race, we might start at 2000 and see how long it takes me to get, I don't know, 2400, 2500, 3000? No, I think that would take too much. But go check out our puzzle section. Do the best that you can do. 
trust me when I say I've been doing tens of thousands mm -hmm. of puzzles. These do take a lot of practice. Do not get frustrated if you get a few wrong. That is completely normal. We want you to be challenged, but not overwhelmed. And no matter what your puzzle rating is, I promise you, Chess Kid will give you puzzles that are useful to you in your games. So go check it out. Find Master Mike taking a nap, having a coffee. We'll see you next time on YouTube.